Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. This is Nina Budgets and I'm your girl, Nina. Oh, um, I, I don't even, I'm just too excited to do this. Um, I was going to say OMG because it's been a while. Um, I've been MIA and I apologize, but I'm back. Um, I've really been just missing in action only because um, I haven't really, I've been cash stuffing just like my wallet and my bills. And I was just like, eh, I don't know if I want to, you know, um, just do that and do that only because I hadn't been doing sinking funds, um, which I'm still not right now, um, only because I'm still just figuring out um, my budget and where I want my money to go. So what I've been doing is I've been stuffing my wallet, um, stuffing my bills, and then everything that's left over, I've just been kind of putting in a envelope such as this, um, and then whatever we need money for, um, whether it's to get my nails done, get my hair done, um, or something for my son, something for my husband, just whatever it is, we just get it out of here. Um, what we do is we use our credit card and then we just pay ourselves back with our credit card. Um, but so, yeah, so today we're going to, we're going to reset my wallet. We're going to pay one bill. Um, and it's, um, just putting money towards it cause it's for my car payment. Um, just so that we can be ahead because it's not due. The first payment isn't due to November. Um, we got the car in August, so we're doing really good on that. Um, and then also I'm going to reconcile some food charges on my credit card. So that is what we're going to do today. I also have some happy meals. So hopefully this video won't be too long. Um, sorry if I sound like I'm just moving, moving, moving. Um, I am because we got a lot of moving parts today. My son has a jamboree with his basketball team. He made his high school team. So we have a jamboree that we have to go to and parents have to participate in the fundraising for this. So I have to work in the concession stand. Um, so we just got a lot of moving parts for today. But yes, I wanted to go ahead and get this video done, reset my wallet um, because I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store this weekend as well. So just get things together. So let me just grab some sort quick, really quickly. And then we'll get our money counted. It should be $701. Um, um, yeah, so let's just get started. And my money is not straightened out because when I went to the bank this morning, it doesn't give you your money straightened out. So it is what it is. I'll fix it. I will fix it to my liking. And then also I apologize in advance. My kids are cleaning up. And so you may hear a few bumps along the way um, because it's Saturday. We got to get straightened up. So dishes are being done, all that good stuff. Oh, I just realized I don't have any fives. So they must not give out fives at the ATM reader. I just wasn't paying attention. So let's count the money. Oh, let me grab my calculator because we definitely are going to need that. Okay, so we got $701 today. And so let's just get started. I'm gonna straighten out my money. These ones are absolutely not the best. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So first we're gonna go ahead and do my wallet. Um, and I will say, I absolutely love this wallet. The only concern um, that I really have is the fact that um, I've just been having like issues with the zipper. Um, it's yeah, just been having issues with the zipper. So um, I love it though. I don't want to not use it because I spent my money on it, but the zipper just like, um, and I'll just show you. So like it snags up and I literally don't have anything in here, but money and two cards. I don't have any change in here. I've been trying to keep it as light as I possibly can, but um I don't know. It just doesn't, it's just, 
not acting right. And this is the second one and it's just not, it's not doing what I need it to do, but I love it. So what I've been finding is I've been like kind of holding it and squeezing it and then kind of doing like this, but you know, in the middle of like when I'm out and about and using it, I don't do that. You know, I want to be able to just go and zip with no problem. So yeah, I'm still going to keep using it because I like it. I like the look of it and it fits my um, purse perfectly. Um, so yeah. So anyways, we do have leftover money in groceries. So let's see what we got left over. We have 50, 65, 66, and 67. Um, I'm definitely going to put this to the back because that's going to go into my binder for um, my rollover grocery money. Um, and then those fives and ones, I'm going to put it in my one and five dollar savings box. Um, gas, we just roll this over into the envelope. Um, gas, we have 25, 26, and 27. Um, I think the, yeah, I'm going to put the one and five in my one and five dollar savings box and keep the 20. And then for my spending, let me open my envelope. I have some money left over as well. Sorry. And let's see what we got here. Um, in spending, I have 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $25 left in spending. And what I'll do is I'll put this in my personal um, envelope that's in my other binder. And these five ones I'll put inside of my one and five dollar savings box and this is more money from um, my spending envelope from last week so i just haven't moved it into my um, envelope yet so i would definitely do that all right so let's get started up first is going to be groceries and in groceries we're going to do our usual um 200 so i'm going to do that in 250s oh i got a 50 dollar star note and did not even know it Oh my goodness, I got two of them. I've been getting a lot of $50 star notes, which is crazy. Um, I've been getting a lot of these lately when I go to the ATM. So there must be like a whole gang of them in this city that's just like jacked up. So I don't want to use my nice 50. Um, since I already have a $50 star note. Um... Let's, let's, let's not use it. So <laughs> let's do 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200. Let's do that. So get groceries is getting 200. So we got 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200. And I didn't plan out my denominations. Like I said, I literally just went to the ATM and um, withdrew money out. I didn't really plan out my denominations because I'm not stuffing my other binders. Um, I've just, like I said, I've just been putting the money to the side. And as we need it um, or as I'm reconciling, I will go ahead and take the money um, out of my envelope. So gas is going to get 60. And. We'll do that in 320s. So gas now has 20, 40, 60, and 80. Yeah, so my um, husband's job where he works at, um, they were laid off of work or they were, I guess you could call it like, I don't want to call it a layoff, but they didn't work for like a whole week. And so they had to file unemployment and they had to go through all of that. And so, um, my gas of course so i like fill up my husband's tank like you know so this is why i have less in here now because i used to have probably like close to 200 dollars. but um yeah so now we have 80 in here because we both were using it for the vehicles and things like that um so the one thing i will say is while they were on their little temporary like leave or you know not working and it was all due to um the hurricanes because one of their plant locations where they get their parts um was completely flooded um and it's in north carolina so they could not get their parts to build the trucks um so they were off of work for like 
I want to say seven to 10 days. I think it was more like 10, 10, 10 days. Um, so yeah. So, um, you know, I, I will say that, um, during that time that they were off, even though we didn't know how long they were going to be off, um, we were not stressed or we were not really worried about anything because we're like two months ahead on our bills. Like all of our October bills and November bills are all paid um, from cash stuffing. So that's really what I would say has been one of the good things about doing this. Um, although I haven't been putting money in our sinking funds, I've just been putting all of our money in our bills and whatever's left over, I've just put it to the side so that whenever we need something, whatever we need, we have that money put to the side and it's not allocated in a specific category um, because of the fact that we didn't know when they were going to go back to work. You know, so we're just going to, you know, we were just going to utilize the money as needed. Um, so, yeah, um, I will say that doing this, it's been exactly, it's been a year for me now. So since doing this, I will say that when that happened, I was just kind of like, okay, that's cool. I get it. I understand, you know, but we were not worried because we were good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bills is up. Bills are paid up. You know what I'm saying? So um, if you don't believe in the method or if you're skeptical, I'm telling you it works. So go ahead and do it. Um, so personal spending is going to get $40 and I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to do two twenties is what I'll do. And that is going to be it. So like I said, the money that's in here is leftover money from, I guess, two weeks ago, because this past week I put the money right here. <clears throat> so I'll get that put up and that's going to be it for my wallet. Now, see, I mean, I'm going to do this on camera, but this is the problem right there. And I don't like it. I love the wallet. I just don't like the shenanigans I got to go through to, you know, do it. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and move into my bills binder. And I'm going to go ahead and stuff my um, car, my SUV payment. Um, so again, we bought an SUV in August. We didn't have to make our first payment. We don't have to make our first payment until November 14th. Um, so the goal here is to, um, be three months ahead. So each week we're putting the set denominations that we, um, agreed upon, um, to get where we need to be for that. So we're going to put 75 in here. Um, so I'm going to do that in a 50, a 20, and then I'll do five ones. I don't like those ones, so I'm probably going to go into like, I guess it doesn't really matter because this money is going to end up going to the bank eventually. So give them the nastier bills than versus, you know, holding them. All right. So in SUV payment, we have 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 850, 870, 890, 9, 10, 30, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. So we have our we have one K in here for SUV payment. And probably what I'll end up doing is um putting this in the bank and then just putting a placeholder in here. Um, because what I'm gonna always do is just um transfer this money over because it is through um our credit union. So that's what I'll end up doing. So that's going to be it for my bills finder. And then I had a $1 star note. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my, what I like to call like my overflow binder. Um, and I'm going to put this in here because this is where I keep like all my special money. Um, so, and like overflow money. So I'm going to put this $1 star note in here. It's janky too. Um, so this is where I got some other little special money. So well, here's some 20s, some old 20s, an old 10. Got two old fives, a couple of $2 bills, um, $20 star note, $10 star note, and some ones. Like I said, I got some 50s in here too, but I got to have the money to replace it, y'all. Like, so until I have the money to replace it, the 50s is just going to go somewhere like savings or something so that I am, um, you know, don't spend it. Um, so yeah, up next, we're going to go ahead and 
reconcile a couple of payments that a couple of charges that I need to do for my credit card, um, all food. And I told my husband and my kids, um, we, we're not eating out. We, we got to slow it down because this is too much. Um, and I have an older daughter who's 25. And then my young, my, my next daughter is 20, who's in college and they both work. I'm like, y'all, they keep, I must be a simp or something because they keep pimping me out and I keep buying their food all the time because why am I spending, you know, $39 at Zaxby's? Like that's just getting outrageous. So let's see what we got left over. We got, oh, this is my rollover money from my wallet. So let's not count that. So we got 51, 52, and there's those two star notes. 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 310, 20, 321, 234, 5. So we got 325. And I'm going to add this into the money that, like I said, that I've just been putting to the side. Well, or I'll just add this money. Yeah, I'll add this money in here. And um, I'm going to put these star notes with the other ones that I got. Like, I'm telling y'all, I literally got a bunch of star notes in 50s. It is crazy. Like, there must, I don't know what's going on here. Look at this. So these are regular 50s with no stars. I've been trying, I've been keeping them together. So here they go. I got one, two, three, four, and these are in like number sequence order, 72, 71, 70. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fifty dollars star notes. Nine fifty dollars star notes, like that's four hundred and fifty dollars in star notes. Yeah. So let me just put that back. Let me add these 20s in here. And I do have a $20 star note too. Here it is. I will add these 10s. And I feel like I have some 10 star notes. Maybe. Had a lot of nice 10s. Maybe not. my fives and then my ones okay so <clears throat> excuse me so papa john's 27.43 so we're gonna do 20 5 26 27 28 and then i'm gonna cross papa john's out Grabbing my highlighter or my Sharpie. First watch. I took my mom to breakfast, me and my husband. So we did that. That's 68. So we'll do 50, 60, 65, 6, 7, 68, 27. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and round up on all of these and then whatever, after I'll, I'll calculate it at the end, um, and then whatever it's supposed to be, if I'm over, I'll deduct or whatever. So Indies was $30 and 44 cents. Went and got some chicken one day. I said $30 and 44 cents, not $34. So 20, 31. Okay. Me and my daughters, we went to Drake's. That was fifty-seven twenty, and they, like I said, they just pimping me because why did I pay for their food? I, I don't understand it. So fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, and fifty-eight. Pina Fiesta was when my husband and I went to the Mexican restaurant, and it was so good. That was fifty-nine. So I'm just gonna do a fifty and a ten. Oh. 
Duh, I can just do 55, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 55, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'll drop my marker one second. Let's see if I can grab it with my foot. Okay, I grabbed it with my foot. I got skills. All right, Zaxby's, we were, let's see, $39.96. I'm just going to do 40 And then I went to the um, Harvest Homecoming. Um, it's like a whole festival thing. So we got like noodles, we got donuts, we just got, you know, it's like a huge, it's like a big festival. So 25 and 26 all right, and sweet stuff was eleven fifty. I'll just do twelve. McDonald's. I'm just gonna do fifteen. Taco Bell twenty four. We went to Raisin Cane's twenty one. Burger King. It's 1842, 16, 17, 18, 19, and KFC, $11. Okay, so let me calculate this and see how much this is. Four hundred nine thirty-seven. Now you know what? That's ridiculous because what I will say is, if I probably had, I probably spent more money because I did not put the money in my envelopes and been like, and I would have been like, okay, no, we ain't eating this much because we only got four hundred, we only got X amount of dollars inside of there. So um, yeah, I made that all the way up. So I'm gonna put this money up. All right, now let's separate this out. Let's make sure we got what we need. And this is all gonna go back to my credit card. It's just been, I will say that part of it is because, you know, I've been back in the gym and stuff. And so like I'll cook some foods and my son's been back at basketball. And so sometimes it's easier to just go to like the hibachi place and just grab like chicken hibachi and vegetables. You know what I'm saying? So 5150. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 140, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 22. That's another 10. So this is 413, and we only need 410. So I'm going to take out three of these ones. We need 409 and some change. So I'm going to take out three of these ones. And then I think what I'm going to do is keep some of these ones and then just get a bigger bill. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, three, four, five. So this is twenty-five. So I 
add that 20 in there. And I'll add this five in there. And I'm going to keep these ones because sometimes we be needing ones. Like my husband also sometimes plays poker. So sometimes we need ones. Oh, and this is going back with me too. Okay, guys, that's it. All of this is going back to the bank. I will be taking this back so that I can pay my credit card off. Um, I need to put that in my binder. Oh, and really quickly, I do have some Happy Meal to show that my sister got me. Um, this is so cute. She got this from Budgeting For Me. Uh, this is a scratch off and I love this. Um, it says like, I will not compare myself. Um, I'm, you know, I'm still fabulous. Be gentle with yourself. You matter. And I just absolutely love this. Um, up next, we October savings mood tracker so you mark your calendar and um, this is in in um, honor of breast cancer month so you mark the calendar um, you date it and then you track your mood each day um, you color it in with the color corresponding color and add it all up to see what you save at the end of the month so if you're happy you color in pink and you save three dollars if you're relaxed you color in yellow save three dollars If you're neutral you color in tan and save five dollars so that is so cute um, and she got this from Dreamy Budget. And then another one that she got is from Dreamy Cares. Um, it's for doing a breast um, exam once a month, filling for lumps and everything. So you save $5 for every month you do your breast exam. So I really like that. And honey, I feel like I do that every time I'm in the shower. I feel like I do it every time. Um, so here's another one that she got. From Dreamy Budgets, it says, I wear pink for my mother and my grandmother. Um, each letter is $1 for a total of $34. Um, and that's for the I wear pink for my mother and my grandmother. So this is one, this is one, and this is one. So safe to support. So this is for bras, and each bra is whatever denomination you put it for your own total. Um, same thing, it says, save the tatas. $2 a pair for a total of $24. So this is in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month as well. And then she also printed me out some printable banking slips. Um, and I'm definitely going to laminate these and use these. I absolutely love these. Um, and it says it's by Sean Versation. Sean Versation. Um, so I'm going to print, I'm going to actually laminate these up because I'm most definitely going to be using these. I love these, honey. These are so cute. And these, these images are bomb. So I can't wait to use these. So thank you, sissy. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, you guys. Um, again, thank you for going along this journey with me. I will be back. I will be creating more videos and getting them posted. Um, it may be different. Um, I will be resetting my wallet every week because I have to do that. Um, I don't know if I'll be stuffing sinking funds, just bills, but I want to just keep putting the content out there to keep holding us accountable um, so that we can continue to do um, what we're doing, which is to save so we can be debt free. We have one more credit card left that we are saving to um, pay off and then we'll be officially like no credit card debt with the exception of what we use for our everyday spending. Um, and then I think I'm going to have to, after realizing how much money I spent in eating out, I'm definitely probably going to start stuffing that again, because um, if I know I only got like 50 or $75 in there, then we ain't going to be spending because honey, I didn't spent $410 in the month of October. And I just feel like that's a little excessive. So um, we're definitely going to do better, but yeah, um, I appreciate you all for going along this journey with the sun is coming out. And I'll talk to you all later, and I hope you all have a great day. Happy saving, everyone. Bye.